I'm going to continue to talk about data types uh, and basic operations in R. Uh, and in particular, in this video, I'm going to talk about subsetting objects in R. So there are a couple of different operators that you can use uh, to extract subsets of, of R objects. Uh, there's the single bracket, sorry, the single square bracket, the double square bracket, which we saw in the previous video, uh, and there's the dollar sign. So um, the, sing the basic kind of principles to remember here is that the single square bracket always returns an object of the same class as the original. So if you subset a vector, you're going to get back a vector. If you subset a list, you're going to get back a list. Anytime you used uh, the single bracket operator to subset an object, you'll get the same, an object of the same class back. Um, s furthermore, the uh, single bracket operator uh, can be used to select more than one element of an object. Uh, with one ex exception that we'll get to later. The double bracket operator is used to extract elements of a list or a data frame. Uh, it can only be used to ex extract a single element uh, and the, of that object, either the list or the data frame. And the class of the returned object will not necessarily be a list or a data frame. So the idea with the double bracket operator is that, because remember that lists can, can, can hold things that are of many different classes. They don't all have to be the same. So the first element might be a, ve uh, a numeric vector, the second element might be a data frame, the third element might be a complex vector, etc. And so when you use the double bracket operator to extract an element of a list the, the object that comes back may, be, may not be a list. It may be a, an object of a totally different class. So that's what the double bracket operator is useful for. Um, the dollar sign is used to extract elements of a list, again, of a list or a data frame um, that have a name. Remember, so, remember, so objects can have names. Uh, and the reason, one of the reasons you use names uh, in an object is so you, that you can reference elements of that object by the different names. Um, and otherwise, the, the semantics of the dollar sign are similar to the double bracket in the sense that when you use the dollar sign to extract an element of an object, uh, it may or may not be of the same class as the original object. So here's the first, the first example, a very simple vector, character vector uh, called x. And, um, and I'm going to use the single bracket operator uh, to extract the first element. So here, what I get back is, a, is another character vector with a single element a in it. Uh, if I if I use if I try to extract the second element of x, what I re get returned back to me is a character vector with the element b in it. Um, I can also extract uh, a sequence of elements. So if I say if I if I want to get the first four elements of x, I can cr construct the sequence one through four, uh, and then I get a b c c. So in these three examples here, what I've done is I, I is I subset the vector x using a numeric index. So the numeric index is one, two, or the sequence one through four. Uh, the other, another type of index that you can use is a, is a logical index. So in this next example here, I'm going to subset the vector x, uh, and I want I only want all the elements where that are greater than or sorry that are greater than the letter a. Right. So you might it might seem strange to you that I'm using the greater than sign with letters instead of numbers, um, but there is a lexicographical ordering to the letters, and all the letters that are greater than a are letters like b, c, d, e, etc. So what I re get returned to me is a character vector that only contains the letters that are greater than A. So here I got B, C, C, and D. Um, the other thing I can do is I can create a logical vector, uh, which I here I call U, uh, which is just the it's an, it's it tells it's a true or false vector which tells me which elements of the vector X are greater than A. So if I print out U here. Uh, I can see that the, the first element is equal to a, so it's not greater than a. And then the next four are greater than a, but then the last element is equal to a, so again, that's false. And so I can subset um, the vector x with this u vector, and then I get out all the elements that are greater than a. Uh, so there are two types of indices that I used here. One, the first type was the numeric index, uh, and the second type was the logical index.